Hello once again YouTube, this is Brent Time from Team Lucky 7 Gaming and today I got another live streaming tip for you. This is how to get Nightbot working for your channel. Now a lot of people actually do ask this surprisingly, even though it's actually really simple. But if you haven't seen a live stream, there's this really cool chat moder moderating tool called Nightbot. Um, made by a guy named, I don't know, something. Alright anyway, to find Nightbot, go to Google, type in Nightbot. And it should come up with nightbot.tv. Hit it, nightbot home. All right, now I'm logged in, and for some reason it's not letting me log out. But all you got to do is create your own account, link it to your channel. Pretty easy stuff. All right, once that's done, you get, you know, your little uh, dashboard for Nightbot here. And there's a lot of really cool things that you can do with it. First, you can join and part. Part means it'll leave. Join, it means it'll actually join your channel. And it has to be in your channel to do... Uh, it's chat uh, moderation. It also has to be an admin or a moderator, uh, excuse me, in your chat. So make sure that happens. All right, so let's start with spam protection. All right, a lot of this stuff is by default. It'll look and see how many times they've like hit or they've typed one thing. You can add phrases that'll be blocked out. Uh, caps protection if someone does caps lock. Um, symbol protection if someone's typing a lot of symbols uh, if a lot of people uh, just spam your chat with emotes you have an emote protection um, repetition protection if someone's uh, say someone's say some advertising companies trying to advertise in your channel that'll help from that alright so first we uh, once once you set these because they're pretty much default as what I have then you need to move on to your custom commands these are pretty fun these will allow your chat and moderators to type some some phrase like uh, explanation co uh, com like mine will take you to teamlucky7gaming.com slash commands.html and it's a link in the chat nightbot will just say it when they do it so that way they don't have to go control c find the link control v all that stuff um, it's a really nice way to uh, do a whole bunch of stuff and then there's really funny ones um, that we have on our channel Next, you have your Nightbot commands. Now, these are for moderators and, di and the director only. Um, it'll be things like add commands, start a countdown, um, a whole bunch of stuff. It's really cool things that Nightbot does. Um, you'll have to check them out in depth because, obviously, it's too long for me to go over. Oh, no data received. That's odd. Anyway, next, you have timers. Now, if you've seen it in a lot of channels, no one really says anything, and then Nightbot just randomly says, like, um, if you haven't followed already, follow. Uh, this is what timers are, and then you can set the frequency. So, every 10 minutes, if there's been 25 lines of chat since the you know the last time it checked, then it'll say something. That's to make sure that if the channel's not active, that it'll do that. Say there's no one in chat at the moment, um, it'll do that. And you can turn them off uh, for you can stop them for uh, games you're playing or whatever. Regulars will allow you to add someone like to someone to a whitelist sort of thing so they can add links and stuff. So if it's you don't want a person to be a moderator but say they've donated, you can add them to a regular and they can start uh, doing that stuff. Now this is a subscriber feature. This I do not have because I do not have subscribers, but if you do have subscribers, this will help you out. I'm actually not sure exactly what it does for it, but yeah. All right, next we got song request. Now, here's an auto DJ. As long as you leave this open, it'll continuously play, and people in chat can actually request songs off your list. And to add something to the song list, all you gotta do is hit song list, hit add new song, and then when you go to a YouTube video, let's do it right now, youtube.com, uh, let's add something by Toby Turner. I don't know why I just picked him, but you know, whatever. Say so you wanted to add his latest video or some one of his songs or something. Uh, just go right here, hit Control C, Control V, and then you add the song. Now it's not letting me do it because it's something's wrong with the client right now, but whatever. And then you can make your own personal playlist that only you can put songs in, and no one's able to uh, uh, request those. And then giveaways. Now, if you've seen the Google Chrome uh, add-on, there's an actual giveaway add-on that I have for my chat. Uh, I use that because I prefer it over this. But if you really wanted to start a giveaway, you can make a question, a random number, random active user. That's what a lot of people would do and start giveaway. 
And look, there you go. Team Lucky 7 gave me the winner. Nightbot will announce it. And then, as soon as he says something, it's updated in real time and it'll pop up right there. It's a really nice thing and uh, you just hit channel, go to the, it goes to their channel or send message, whatever. And uh, you can send them a message saying they won. And then you can roll again. And then if you really need even more help than I can provide, and there's something wrong, bug report or whatever, you can actually contact the maker of Nightbot uh, for that stuff. Anyways, guys, this has been a video on Nightbot. I hope you had a great time. I hope I was very helpful and supportive. Um, yeah, see you later. Hello, YouTube. This is Brent Time from Team Lucky 7 Gaming, and today I got another episode in the tutorial series for live streaming. Today, this is going to go over overlays, and I've actually made five overlays that I'm going to give to everyone. I will make multiple episodes of the overlays, and I will continue to make overlays for you guys. If you could, please, in your Twitch descriptions, please put a link to my channel uh, if you are using my overlay. There is also an image of my uh, YouTube um, uploaded image in the right hand corner. Just in case, please do not erase it if you do. The attack, right click the block. This gives combat more of an immersive value for the players because you're the one swinging the sword or bashing with the shield. With the introduction of synergy or the ability to combine other players' spells and your own to enhance the spell's ability, player versus player combat will require you to stick in a group and rely on teammates for ultimate effectiveness. To implement magic into this game, ZeniMax had to take a different approach unlike most MMOs because of how Elder Scrolls games work. Six slot hotbar is used to control five active abilities to wield destructive, restorative, or dablative abilities to use sensors.